This is Edifier's affordable true wireless earbuds right here aimed towards gaming with low latency features. Buy color LED on the earbuds right here, but it looks so sexy with this monochromatic look right here with just a white LED. But hey, we're going to talk about that later bit. And it has touch controls right here. Now, these babies right here will set you back 50 American dollars or 200 Malaysian ringgit based on my affiliate links based on the updated price at the moment right here. It uses Bluetooth 5.0 for connectivity and it has an IPX5 water resistance rating, meaning you can use it for sports activity, gym, workout, running, or including 6 to 8 hours of extreme smartphone mobile gaming because you are a gamer. If you are into that kind of big gaming, I still think that PC Master Race is the way to go. But jokes aside, the package comes included with the Type-C charging cable, which is this short, as well as two extra pairs of ear tip sizes. More would be welcome right here. Now aside from that, these earbuds right here are using 6mm neodymium dynamic drivers, so it's decent for base and mids. But the one thing good about this earbuds right here is lightweight. It weighs 5.3 grams, one of the lightest in the market right here, with long battery life to mention right here. Now, the reason why they can make the weight such lower weight is because it's mostly made out of plastic construction, which is sturdy. It's not some weird Tauge-ish type of cheap Chinese earbuds right here. What do you call Tauge in English again? Uh, okay, that, all right. You can power on and power off the earbuds by taking them off the case or putting back into the case or a long press on each earbuds will do the trick as well. Unfortunately, the volume control is done on your streaming device and not on the earbuds itself. I wish Edifier was wise enough since they have many experience with different different true wireless in their lineup to actually include this feature right here. Now, when it comes to the passive sound isolation, it's great because it's the tube right here, the sound tube right here goes very deep into your ear canal, blocking majority of the environmental noises. Without the need of active noise cancellation right here, it's really good. But having active noise cancellation would be much more amazing at a higher price point, obviously. When it comes to the rated battery life when the pair is fully charged, it gives you 4 hours of play time and the charging case right here gives you additional 12 hours. Now, our battery life test is based on the Samsung S20 Plus at a 4 horn bar. When it comes to the game mode, it gives you 15 hours and 55 minutes in total, whereas music mode will give you much longer at 21 hours and 35 minutes. Now, the one thing I realized about low latency mode is, yes, you can see your YouTube videos one-to-one uh, -one where the visual and the audio is synchronized. Gaming is synchronized. Unfortunately, I'm not sure how to show in this video how to set up this low latency test. If you have any suggestion, links, just drop it in the comments below. I'll check it out and try it out. But one thing I realized with low latency mode is the sound is much more compressed, especially at lower bass, uh, lower frequency where the bass sits or the higher frequency where like sharp instrumentals from piano and violin is compressed significantly since they need to show or send a lower bit rate between devices so you get low latency right here. So if you are a person who wants to enjoy videos or music, definitely go back to music mode. You will hear the full spectrum of the frequency much more clearly and better quality right here. Now for audio quality test tested on the Samsung S20 Plus using music mode. For pop and EDM, I choose TMB OK. Low bass frequency is superbly energetic and superbly notable. You can feel the air pressure movement in your ears. Vocals is separated from the bass, which has a decent clarity, just the bass is more audible right here. For Pia Mia, I do it again. The bass frequency is superbly energetic and superbly notable, like the previous song. The bass fits butter smooth at the 2 minute and 5 second mark of the song with a very, very long drag right here. You can feel the subtle bass vibration as it fades smoothly. The bass does not overpower the vocals. The vocals sound less clear or shine right here. EDM tone sounds alive and highly energetic. Feels clean. For vocals and instrumentals, I choose violin the raindrop. The piano and the violin tone is the crystal clear type and not the warm sounding type. I prefer the crystal clear type. The bass and drum does overpower the piano and violin tone and can be a bit distracting. For Petatonic See True, when it comes to Mitch Grassi's high-pitched male tonal vocals, it performs well at the highs with good clarity. Every diction and pronunciation is crystal clear. Vocal beatboxing, echoing and humming is great, but does not overpower much Mitch Grassi's vocal in a song. This is how the song is meant to be. These earbuds right here perform well from the ultra low bass frequency up to the upper mid, so it's a wider range compared to the earlier True Wireless QMe that I reviewed in the channel right here. This one is 
suitable for most songs like maybe from the bass or in high instrumental frequency type that needs those low frequency body to sound rich this is suitable when it comes to music mode now when it comes to the low latency mode unfortunately i don't have the right way to test at the moment if you have any suggestion comment below so i can try it out for future through wireless but definitely the low latency mode feels near one-to-one -one reaction so like when you hit a gunshot it feels that the gunshot is you know registered with the screens I, i'm not sure how to describe it so long story short for the price i wish the battery life was a little bit more maybe six to eight hours that would be industry standard but at least now the gamers have option right here to have a lightweight earbuds that weighs 5.3 grams and low latency mode so they can play their smartphone for six to eight hours and yeah enjoy their life Thank you for watching this video. Comment below what do you think about this earbuds right here or which country you are viewing from. I would like to know where my viewers are coming from. Till then, I'll see you guys in the next audio review. Bye guys. Alright.